Hello and good day everyone. So today, we will be going to talk about identifying regions under normal curve corresponds to different standard normal values. Okay, so before we proceed, let me first show you a table. And this is what we called a state table. Remember that this table is important for you to have because it will serve us as the basis for finding the area of our given safe value. Let me give you a background about the parts of a say table. All eyes on the left side of the say table, this part is what we call the say values. And the last one, the above part, is what we call the hundredth place of a say value. So that you are now familiar with the save table, I will give you some examples and we will be going to identify the area that corresponds to the save value using say table. Okay, look at our first example here. Find the area that corresponds to z is equals to 2.11. Now, the first step that we need to do is to construct a normal curve. Here it is. As you can see, the shape of a normal curve is bell-shaped. Take note of that. Okay, so, after constructing the normal curve, the next step is to shade a part of the normal area that is given to us. Since we're finding the area of say is equals to 2.11, then our shaded part is from here, 0 to 2.11. So now, we are done at the first two steps. We will now be going to find the corresponding area of C is equal to 2.11 using the state table that I showed to you earlier. So we have here 2.11, right? Okay. Look at the first whole number and the first decimal. So that is 2.1. Now, Look at the say value and find 2.1. And then after that, get the last number which is 1. Now let's align 2.1 to 1. So the intersection of 2.1 and 1 will be our area that corresponds to 2.11 and that is 0 0.4826. So the area that corresponds to say is equals to 2.11 is 0 0.4826. Another example, find the area that corresponds above 3.05. All right, as we observe here, we have here a clue word above. We have here some cases and conditions to follow. I will explain this to you. Now, if you have your clue word greater that to the right, at least, more than and above, and then your given is positive, after getting the area of our given z value, we must or we will be going to subtract the area from 0 0.5. Okay, let's go back to our example. I told you earlier that the first step we need to do is to construct the normal curve of our z value. After that, we need to shade the part of the normal area that is given to us. Now, since we have the clue word above, we will not start from zero. Since we have the word above, our shaded area is from here, 3.05. We will now be going to find the corresponding area of C is equals to 3.05 using the Z table. Look first at the whole number in the first decimal. So that is 3.0. Now look at the save value and find 3.0. And then after that, get the last number which is 5. Now, if you will align 3.0 to 5, the intersection between them will be our area that corresponds to 3.05 and that is 0 0.4989. Then the value that corresponds to Z is equals to 3.05 is 0 0.4989. Okay now, since our clue word is above, 
and our given is positive, we will subtract 0 0.4989 from 0 0.5. So, 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4989, the answer will be 0 0.0011. Then, the area that corresponds to, that corresponds above say is equals to 3.05, is 0 0.0011. Another example, find the area that corresponds to less than 1.09. As you can see, we also have here a clue word less than. If you have your clue word less than, at most, no more than, not greater than, and to the left, and then you're given is positive, after getting the area of our Z value, we must or we will be going to add the area to 0 0.5. So again, the first step we need to do is to construct the normal curve of our Z value. After that, we need to shade the part of the normal area that is given to us. Since we have here the clue word less than, our shaded area is from here. 1.09 up to here. We will now be going to find the corresponding area of Z is equals to 1.09 using the Z table. Look first at the whole number and the first decimal. So that is 1.0. Now look at the Z table and find 1.0. And then after that, get the last number which is 9. Now, if you will align 1.0 to 9, the intersection of them, of them will be our area that corresponds to 1.0 and that is 0 0.3621. Then the value that corresponds to Z is equals to 1.09 is 0 0.3621. Okay, now, since our clue word is less than and our given is positive, we will add 0 0.3621 to 0 0.5. So, it will be 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3621. The answer is 0 0.8621. Therefore, the area that corresponds to less than Z is equals to 1.09 is 0 0.8621. Okay, another example. What, he, what if we have here... Determine the area under the standard normal curve between Z is equals to negative 1.20 and Z is equals to 2.01. We have another cases and conditions to follow. Between A and B, if they have the same sign, the operation will be going to use to subtract the biggest area by the smallest area. And another, if the value of your A and B has different sign, the operation will be will have to use to add the biggest area by the smallest area. Okay, so let's go back to our last example. Determine the area under the standard normal curve between Z is equals to 1.20 and Z is equals to 2.01. So, construct the normal, normal curve. And then, let's shade the area of our normal curve. Then, the shaded region between here of negative 1.20 and 2.01. So, now, let's find the corresponding area of negative 1.20 and 2.01. Look again at the say table and then find the first area of negative 1.20. As you can see, even if it has a negative sign, it is still positive. We, if we will look at the say table, so align negative 1.2 to 0. So that is 0 0.3849. And the last one, align 2.0 to 1. And that is 0 0.4778. So, we have here, the value that corresponds to negative 1.20 is 0 
and the value that corresponds to 7 is z, z rather, z is equals to 2.01 is 0 0.4778. Now that we get their value, we will now apply the case. Since our given a and b have different sign, the case is we will add the biggest area by the smallest area. Therefore, the area that corresponds between z is equals to negative 1.20 and z is equals to 2.0 is 0 0.8627. So that's it for today. I hope you learned from this video lesson. Anyways, you can repeat watching it and thank you and keep safe everyone. That's all.